Hey everybody, Craig here. So you're wondering how to become a sports photographer? Well, I've got the answer. Coming up. So the question is, how do you become a sports photographer? Well, let's answer that question real quick and easy. It's not very difficult. You grab a camera, you find a sporting event, you go take some photos and boom, poof, you are a sports photographer, my friend. It's that simple. No, really, it is. You just got to take photos of sporting events. It's pretty easy. Of course, if you don't have the equipment, that changes things. It also changes the answer because you need to know what type of photographer you're going to be. Are you going to be shooting high school sports, peewee sports? Are you going to be shooting indoors, outdoors, basketball, extreme sports? There's so many to go off of. So, but basically becoming a sports photographer is really easy. You do not need training. You do not need to go to school. However, you do need a desire and a passion to get the best shots that you can. But actually the first sports photos I ever took was back when I was in junior high. I had my dad's Canon AE-1 manual focus. We're at a Phoenix Suns basketball game. Alvin Adams, names you probably don't even remember, lining that photo up from the stands. Click, click, got some great photos. Not, I would show them to you, but they're on slides somewhere in Arizona and I'm not even close to those. But becoming a sports photographer is not that difficult. It is highly recommended you get a mentor because you want to get better as a photographer, not just sports photography, but any type of photography, you need someone on the outside saying, hey, you could do a little better, here's what you could do. Now you've got YouTube, you have all kinds of venues that you can go to to try and figure that out. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring. I'll leave a link below to my page about that. And hey, speaking of sports photography, if you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when my other videos come out. Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, it's easy to be a sports photographer, but now you have to decide what type of sports photographer do you want to be. Now I'm not talking, do you want to be an extreme sports photographer? Do you want to shoot football or soccer or volleyball say? I'm talking about what type of skill level do you want to be? Because there's different levels. I've seen a lot of people along the sidelines in football games. You can tell they're not really sure what they're doing. They'll take a photo and they chimp, take a photo and chimp, take a photo and chimp, which I don't mind if you chimp, that's a good thing to do. It helps you see what you're getting. But the problem is I've actually talked to these individuals and helped them a little bit and they'll send me some of their photos and you can see even with all that chimping and taking photos, they don't quite grasp what it is to be a sports photographer, how to get the right angles, how to get the right shots, how to give an, get an idea, a feel of the game, what might be happening so they can position themselves. Of course, a lot of them are out there just shooting relatives or their grandkids or maybe their own kids and they're not really into that. But some of them, you can tell they want to learn more because when I speak to them, they're asking more questions. But you will need somebody who can help mentor you or at least can look at your photos and give you some suggestions because sometimes your settings might be off a little bit or you may have questions on, you know, why is this in focus but this isn't in focus. And like I said, I do mentor uh, sports photography so you can check out that link below in the description. But to become a really good sports photographer, there's a little more to it than just strapping on the camera, walking on to the court. Actually, don't get on the court. You might get ran over by volleyball players or basketball players. You know, getting your seating and just taking photos because a lot of times you're going to start out in auto mode. Auto mode's good to begin with, but I can tell you now, I've tried it before just as an experiment. And the camera may be smart, but it does not know what you are shooting. It doesn't know the difference between wrestling as opposed to a lacrosse game. Because the speed in those is a little bit different. Wrestling kind of takes its time and then there's something going on, but lacrosse is back and forth really fast. And the camera doesn't know what it's shooting. It just knows it's shooting. And a lot of times the settings will be completely wrong. Uh, photos will come out blurry, stuff like that. If you're a new sports photographer and you're struggling with something, go ahead and leave me a comment below on what your struggles are or what your problems are, if any questions, and I will answer them as quickly as possible. You see, it is easy to become a sports photographer. You need a camera and you need a sporting event and then you go shoot and you just keep shooting so you can get better and try and find someone to critique your photos without holding anything back. It's the only way you're gonna get better. Now what I want you to do since you're interested in sports photography is watch more of my videos.